With the rafts inflated, the briefings over, it was time to set off and experience firsthand the thrills of this water sport fast becoming a rage in India. As Sir Edmund Hillary explained, I think part of water rafting is, is tremendous fun actually. It's, um, you know, it has a combination of uh, the uh, beauty of nature, uh, sort of the swift flying water, and then there's always that uh, little bit of um, adventurous fear almost, you know, when you come to a really wild rapid. You can feel a, a tightness in your stomach and so on as you wonder whether you're going to get safely over it or whether you're going to fall out or maybe even drown. The paddling through the calm stretches was in great contrast to the pulsating moments in the rapids. But it also gave a much needed respite for they would shortly encounter another rapid, the wall, whose ominous whirlpools and hydraulics was to test the tactical skills of the most experienced of river guides. But the excitement was interwoven with moments of serenity. The rafts were used as makeshift cots as the tired muscles were given a rest and the flavour and quiet of the outdoor life was relished. We're going to make a lot of time in the morning, okay? I want to go really a great distance before lunch. Okay. Let's go, Dad. The Ganga is a river of many traditions. Yet today, it offers the perfect arena for this water sport. I have a very great uh, affection for Ganga. I mean, uh, Ganga in a way is the heart of India. And, uh, and from Ganga and the people who live around India, uh, live around Ganga, I have learned more about uh, the way of life of the people in India, the culture, the religion. And uh, this has been a fascinating experience. From Deoprayag to Rishikesh, the river runs down over boulders and gradients, creating rapids which the river runners look for. The rapids are graded for the dangers they pose and are given names for their peculiar features. The golf course, with its nine-hole hydraulic, is one of the more challenging rapids and offers the river runners even greater excitement.
The festival had also attracted many kayaking enthusiasts. The kayaks were primarily there as rescue teams in case the rubber rafts flipped. And although they kept their vigil, it did not stop them from enjoying the white waters of River Ganga. Kayaking on the Ganga is quite comparable to, to some of Canada's rivers. It's a high volume river which, which always makes kayaking exciting because there are such, such large amounts of water falling through restricted areas. It creates huge waves, which is uh, just tremendous fun in a kayak. I was telling you the trip's just going to consist of about an hour and a half to two hour run down into Rishikesh, okay? Very small white water, uh, just small moving current for the greater part of the trip. Nothing to worry about, okay? So I'll try assigning it to goats. <laughs> And so it was on to the final day and the final stretch from the campsite to Rishikesh. And although the rapids encountered were minor, the waves relatively gentle, the thrill of moving down the mountain river, the excitement of weaving their route through the white water, and the sense of participation made it as memorable as the previous days through more treacherous rapids. For most participants, the Ganga Whitewater Festival was a discovery of the thrills which river running offers. Nearly all of them went away as converts, most determined to return for another encounter. But before they were sent off to civilization, there was the prize distribution ceremony. What I'd like to do, though, is if I could, I'd like to donate the shield to, I think, the people who worked the hardest uh, during the Whitewater Festival and specifically because they represent what the future in India when in, uh, in the subject of adventure tourism and in whitewater sports. So if I could, I'd like to present to the uh, NCC and the cadets. The trophies and souvenirs were given to remind them of the challenge they took on and the sensational holiday of an adventure down the whitewater rapids of the river Ganga.